we do not need another celebrity hair care product i do not care if she releases a hair care line simply because number one i'm not really a beyonce fan hello guys my name is angela of afro league and today we're going to be talking about the newly launched hair care product from beyonce the one and only beyonce and the name of this range of product is called sacred i found the name quite creative the first time i saw the name i was like sacred like what are they trying to do here but then i remembered that the ending of beyonce is say and then you put say and c-r-e-d that is sacred and it's it was so creative <laughs> <laughs> it was so creative sorry if you can hear any disturbing sound in the background that's my fan my fan is on i usually do not film with my fan on but the heat is too much it is so hot here in nigeria and i simply cannot film without my fan if not i'll be sweating like a goat <laughs> but i started hearing rumors about beyonce creating an hair care line on social media when she posted this picture so people were speculating that it was going to be a hair care line with shampoo conditioner and all of that some other people were speculating that she was going to release some bundles or wigs because she's known to have that unclockable wigs and bundles in her hair so there was all this speculation back and forth but then during the renaissance tour she invited some influencers i think for her birthday tour in particular she invited some influencers and there were also influencers who are known to be hair care creators so everybody knew or speculated there was going to be an hair care line but we did not get any confirmation from beyonce or her team until recently she posted on her instagram page you know talking about the launch of the product the dates and all of that and the internet went crazy i don't want to say the internet let's just say beyonce fans <laughs> they weren't crazy personally for me i really do not care for celebrity brands whether hair care brands or whatever thing they decide to release because at the end of the day they are not my friends so <laughs> i wasn't even going to make a video about it but the last video i posted somebody made a comment talking about the release of the product on the 20th of february which is yesterday i was going to film the video yesterday but i i asked myself to you know calm down and just really marinate the thoughts of filming this video i really marinate marinate my opinion you know just let my opinion sit for a while so that they can be a little bit refined because the first thing that was in my mind is i do not care <laughs> i do not care if she releases a hair care line simply because number one i'm not really a beyonce fan like i'm not invested in the lives of celebrities i really do not care there's so many things going on in the world and a multi-millionaire releasing a hair care brand is not something that would it's not something that would freak me i'm if i'm being honest but i just you know i let yesterday pass i was on their website and everything i was checking out the brand and the prices are not uh, obviously i'm not the target audience <laughs> i'm not the target audience i'm just one girl in nigeria you know who cannot afford those products but the price were mm, above the average they were not so bad they were not too expensive but it's also not too cheap again i think the brand is a i think the hair care line is a professional hair care line that is the way it's being marketed like it's not just a regular shampoo it's a professional hair care line used in salons when you go to salons because according to the story online beyonce's mom was a hairstylist that owned the salon and you know that was where she got the passion for hair and everything that was what was written on the website you know the story behind the brand like she was talking about how she grew up you know seeing her mom do hair and all of that so so it's a beautiful story and it's inspiring my first thought when i saw the product the packaging of the product on the website is this is giving kim k this is giving kim kardashian in my mind i ascribe everything with neutral tones and products with simple design to so kim kardashian like i said i'm not really a beyonce fan so i i do not really um know her personality or anything i mean who does <laughs> we do not really know her we're just strangers watching her on our screen but i think when i think of beyonce i think of something colorful i think of something with intricate designs like that's just the idea that comes to my mind but i think she was going for maybe something that would be timeless i guess that's the idea behind behind it and all of that and something i find quite interesting is that the last time i checked beyonce's instagram page she had made just one post about the hair care line and this is a critique that a lot of people have made in the past especially in relations to all of the brands that she has released with ivy park especially like there is this distance between her and her brand i, I cannot really explain it I just feel like she does not really use those products <laughs> 
that's the way it comes across across to me as somebody watching all of this unfold online and i think if she wants to build a sustainable hair care brand that would last for years she has to appeal to other people outside of her fans and you cannot do that by just slapping the name beyonce on the product Beyonce's new hair care line, Sacred, is dropped. So here's my pre-review on the ingredients to determine whether or not you should buy it now or wait for the full formal reviews to come out in a couple of weeks. So all products on this line are between $30 to $45, which puts this in the mastige price category along with Kerastase and Briogeo at Sephora. First, let's look at the clarifying shampoo that retails for about $42. I like that the main surfactant in this shampoo is sodium olefin sulfonate. It's also the main surfactant in my current favorite clarifying shampoo by K18, and it really does a good job of getting the hair clean and sets up really well. Beyond that, it has Coaster Factors Cocomidopropyl Hydroxy Sultane, which is a gentler version than Cocomidopropyl Betaine, and Sodium Coco Isothionate, which is also a really good foam booster. But the most interesting thing about this formula is the microcrystalline cellulose. So Beyond actually cleansing the hair contains small beads that exfoliate the scalp. By the way, there's also niacinamide in pretty much half of the product line, so if you are sensitive to niacinamide, this is not the product line for you. Next is their hydrating shampoo. It has a nice gentle surfactant and a couple of cationic ingredients, polyquaternium 7 and 10. These two ingredients will make it feel hydrating, but if you have thin hair, this may not be the most suitable product for you because polyquaternium 7 and 10 can tend to build up and weigh down the hair if it's really thin. And this, I believe, retails for $30. Next is their $42 hair oil, which I'm not really impressed with. And that's because the main oil is sunflower oil. Now, I do like that this is one of the few hair oils I've seen on the market that actually has oil as the first ingredient. But I wish it had something more exciting besides sunflower and coconut oil that you can get at the grocery store. Because remember, this is $42. To me, it needs something a little extra so it's not just expensive Hollywood beauty you can get at the beauty supply store. Next up is their treatment mask, which is mainly made up of Cetera alcohol and soybean oil. So more of a thicker formula. Again, not suitable for fine, thin hair. And for my own hair, personally, I'm not a fan of soybean oil because it just tends to sit on top. But your mileage, my theory. And they also have a deep conditioner. One thing that's currently missing from this line is a regular conditioner that's coming soon. Because in general, I'm not a fan of deep conditioners. I don't think they're doing any extra work than a regular conditioner, but they're pretty much more expensive. This is $42. But if your hair likes a bunch of oils and butters, this might be right up your alley. And for a leave-in moisturizer, there is this sealing lotion. Love that it has glycerin high up on the ingredient list. And the main emollient is hydrogenated ethohexyl olivate, which is also the main emollient in their deep conditioner, by the way. But I can't guesstimate the texture of this product without trying it first. I'll have to get back to you on that one. But I will say I like that a couple of their products has snow mushroom polysaccharides in the formula. Snow mushroom along with hyaluronic acid is really good at pulling in moisture to help hydrate the hair and scalp. With that being said, if you live in a very high humid environment, just proceed with caution. Of course, there's always ways to mitigate this, but if you tend to live in an area like Florida, you may not wish to use a leave-in product that's high in humectants. But again, your mileage may vary. Feel free to try it. Lastly is their two-step rice and rose protein ritual, which I think is the most unique product from the collection. Step one is basically rice powder that cleanses the hair, kind of like the um, Dermalogica enzyme powder, or Tachis. And step two is a cream that you followed up with to help restore the moisture back into your hair. It also uses the hydrogenated ethohexyl olivate, like the deep conditioner and the leave-in. Based on what we currently have available for the line, I ordered both shampoos to try because I love a good shampoo. But I'm waiting on more reviews to order anything else from the line. But what about you? What products stood out to you? Another thing I would like to touch on is that although on the website it is said that Beyonce, they've been working on this product for a couple of years and they have a new technology that they discovered in the creation of this hair care product, I believe that just like every hair care product, whether it is a professional product, whether it's an organic product or whatever, products are not number one when it comes to growing long hair, when it comes to growing healthy hair. Products are good, yes, it is good to have good products, but there are other factors that are important and when it comes to growing your hair long so if you think buying this product this sacred product is going to give you hair like beyonce my darling my darling <laughs> calm down that is not going to happen another thing i find quite interesting and funny but more interesting is that when the products were launched i went on the sacred instagram page and there were people in the comment section complaining about how pricey the products were they were so excited to buy this product but the super fan bundle that contains almost all of the product was going for over two hundred dollars, and there were people complaining about how the product were pricey. And aside it being pricey, for those people who are outside America, they were going to be paying half of the value of the products for shipping fee. And then they were also complaining about how they would also pay import tax and all of that. And in my mind, I was like this is not a need you do not need another celebrity hair care brand you do not need it it's it's not important that you get it if it's out of your budget then that is fine you don't need to get it but something i also thought was if this was your friend or if this was somebody that you knew who released the product that was in that price range will you go above and beyond to buy those products
I don't think so. And it is the reason why I really do not care for celebrity brands. These people are millionaires already. <laughs> they have money already. They do not need my money. They do not need my money. And a lot of times, it is not as if the products that they release are things that are innovative, are things that humans have never seen before. You can go into the market and see multiple of the products that they release at a cheaper rate. So while I was checking the website, I saw that Sacred the brand is going to be working with Beyonce's foundation. That the brand Sacred made a commitment to donate $500,000 every year. And I think that is a good thing. They said that they were going to give out scholarships for people to attend cosmetology school. And they were also going to be grants for salon owners so if you fall in that category you can go check the website i think the deadline for application is like in march i think that it's a really good thing that they are giving back to the community so that just puts the brand in a positive light for me even though at the end of the day what i think of the brand or what i do not think of the brand is not really important for me i'm just here to talk about my opinions and hopefully you find them interesting now we can have like conversations in the comment section it's not that deep <laughs> it's not that deep so if there's anything i said that beyonce fans the beehives do not like please do not come after me it's not that deep i'm just one girl in nigeria in a room making videos <laughs> thank you so much for watching today's video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends and i will see you in the next video bye